All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 16 for today. And in the last episode, we were moving quite well up through GC2, but unfortunately there were only two more days left of the season. So today we're at zero out of 10 matches played, but we're at 1492 MMR, which isn't too bad. I believe that's just below Grand Champion, or it might be Champ... A cha it might be grand champion one very very low or it might be very high champ three so but either way before we get into the games we got to do the meme of the day and today we have sweeper suggestion of troll diz i swear you guys want to see me struggle in photoshop let's get right into it all right so i was going to try with a troll like this but i thought what we could do is bring in a little more of a friendly vibe and do these trolls and then put roll diz on top but it's really funny because this face definitely is a lot happier than this face but we'll see how it turns out. As always, I'm going to do a rough cut here and just grab rolled is and try to stick them on, on the troll somewhere. I'm trying to cover all of the facial features of the other dude, but I don't know if that's going to work because the troll has a really fat nose. Now, let's work on his eyes for a second. I'm also going to grab his nose, the troll's nose. That way I can kind of stick it on top, like this whole part. Maybe what I can do is stick that on top of the eyes. That way if I bring the eyes over here, They'll kind of just, yeah, they'll kind of just sit nicely under there. <laughs> That's fine for now. Let's grab his mouth though. Maybe, maybe like that. I, uh, I don't know. Don't ask. Let me just start erasing. All right, let's grab this guy and erase the teeth portion. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a copy of everything and then try to uh, desaturate and then try to blend it in with the, the background. Yeah like that um the reason why i want to keep the other layer is because i want to put that layer on top and then i want to erase everything except for the eyes and maybe the uh the eye i, I can probably just keep the <laughs> the eyebrows <laughs> i <laughs> i don't know i'm not happy with this okay so i've changed the saturation of the uh the mouth but there's still a lot of um, noise that needs to be dealt with here. It's definitely a little bit better if I make it a little bigger, but this is still not great. I think what I might do is combine everything now. Uh, I think I'm happy with the color of everything. It looks pretty matched up. I mean, it's it's whatever. I don't know. This is this is all I've got <laughs> to be <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm done. I can't do anymore. All right, for game one we've got, got Clash and uh, Matt and Matt. <laughs> Matt but bad, and then there's Matt not bad, I guess. I uh, got a kick off in middle here. I'm going to wait for Clash to go again. So we've moved back down a little bit, but the rank isn't super horrible. We're uh, we're pretty close to where we started or ended off. This ball's pretty awkward in the corner here. I'm just going to stay close to it. They're, just, they're trying to stay close in the corner here. I see Matt turns on it. My teammate should be able to rotate back. What a pinch. Should be a tough shot for them. I'm just going to wait for this in mid, see if they go for the shot. It's a good flip reset. Pretty well played. I see my teammate. I think my teammate wanted uh, to go get boost. He looked pretty low, so he went across. I thought he was going to go backboard to try and cover that. And then once I see he wasn't going to, I was trying to challenge that. But I didn't challenge it fast enough. Now, if I want to get in the way of that, I got to go up a little bit earlier. Now, was that the Matt butt bad guy? That was not the Matt butt bad guy. This guy pops it up. Not sure if he's going for another touch. Try to get in the way for him here. So Matt's got the ball again. Should be fine to deal with, though. I'm going to take this boost. That way he, doesn't, he can't steal it. And we should be good. Clash up some space on the right side here. So I'm sitting mid here. That's up. They're going ceiling shot. Oh. Now we're actually probably going to get a lot of higher players here. Because we're getting squished into the ranks of like um, a lot of players who are much higher up. So I'm going to go for a, a bit of a squishy. Not squishy. <laughs> a doomsy dish there. Well, they'd maybe try to do a squishy save. Is what I was trying to say. He might do a squishy save. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're actually facing probably higher level opponents than when we were at the end of last season. So... It's getting really, really tough. I'm not sure what any of that means. Okay, he feeds it back. I think he meant like I'm feeding it back right. So I'm gonna see if Matt but bad goes for this. He does go, but we get a free clear over. Clash should have this in the corner. Oh, I froze! Oh! <laughs> we almost got scored on there. That's crazy. That happens so much for me at my computer. There's plenty of boost in the back corner there for him. This ball, once again, spills into mid. I gotta watch out for the bumps as well. Teammate cuts across, totally fine. I see Matt, but Bad's gonna turn on this. He throws it across. Matt's also turning for this. I'm just gonna wait for it. And now I go for a free touch. And this is so high that I don't think he can reach it. My teammate does jump though, so I'm not really able to go. I heard him jump, so I'm just try trying to wait. That's gonna be an open goal, yeah. So I was ready there, but my teammate jumped for it off the backboard. And because of that, I have to wait and make sure that I don't double commit with him because we have to get a read on that and get it on target if we're both gonna jump at the backboard like that. 
I'm going to put this back left corner here. Now, because we are at a rank where I think that we're at a little bit higher rank than what's, you know, what it actually is. Like, 1492 is probably not... All the players at 1492 right now are probably not originally, uh, you know, champ. That was a really good bump there. This guy forfeit, but we... I saved it. I'm also not sure why... I, it looked like that was, like, a, he was pretty upset. That was going to be a goal. Dude, give me the ball, man! What am I supposed to do with that touch? I'm already frustrated, but that's okay. You know, we gotta just we gotta deal with what we got. Ah, my boost. <laughs> so gonna go for a shot high. Make sure Matt Babat has to make a weird touch, and then go for a fifty as well. My teammate should be there. Maybe a pass across. Great shot. There we go. So a few times where my teammates cutting in front of me, but you know I'm getting a little annoyed about it. But I just gotta accept that that's, it is what it is. And uh, we definitely got to just work with what we got. Like I said, this is the, the classic. He's a close one. I don't. This guy uses a lot of <laughs> quick chats. Oh, real wide turns there. He's going to get beat because of that too. But I should be able to pass this to my teammate. I should have a lot more time to ma maybe catch that one more time. Make a, make a touch to follow that up. This Matt guy is going to follow this. Just wait for a slip reset. There it is. I have space in the wall here. Okay, I did have space in the wall. All right, good challenge. If he cuts this, that's totally fine. I know he's going to do that. I'm going to fake this and try to catch this. Shoot my teammate across. Unlucky. Close. So it was a good try. Okay, this guy's going for the touch off the back. I'm going to take the boost here, and then I can stay stay close. Is he going to go for me? That's perfect. That's a good rotation, because I'm trying to recover, and he's down. That touch, definitely not... Wow. Okay, well, that... Definitely worked out a lot better than it should have, but I was trying to wait just in case that ball spilled back to me. What I was really hoping for was that he would wait for that bounce, but that 50-50 just worked out perfectly for him. This ball will spill out into a good spot. Even if Matt touches this, it's totally fine because there's nobody ready for it. And Clash does touch it. I'll let him take it in the corner, but I really could have made a play there. There's no one in mid I know that because the rotation just got to know where players are. Now that challenge could be a little bit rough. Ooh, good save. He's got it. Yeah, he did say I got it in the comms. It, it's like I said, it's a player who just wants to take over. That's totally fine. But he made it clear over to my side. <laughs> he just take, takes me out. He said he's faking. Okay. Ooh. Does he want this one? Does he want this one? I just gotta be really careful. <laughs> you know, I, you never know. I'm gonna be really, really mindful. He did, he did want that one. Gonna shoot that down the field. Good save from them. See, so yeah, uh, big big note, by the way, I've said this in the previous series, uh, jumping on those boosts will always get you the boost first. Um, if you're over top of a player, for some reason, that, that detection is more likely in your favor. Uh, I think my teammate might even try to follow this. Yeah, he did. So move it down the field, see what Matt does. They do move it off this, the, the backboard into the ceiling, so my teammate should be able to get there. He's missing. Oh, actually, he got a decent touch. So, not a bad start. Yeah, I had a bit of a frustrating moment at the very beginning of the game where the guy just kept turning on every ball that I have. But, it is what it is. There's no way I can score that. Otherwise, that, that guy said a nice shot. I think he's upset because they're losing. But either way, interesting game. That that was probably a higher level opponent than we've had in the series so far. Like I said, because because of the fact that um, all the, the ranks have been deflated, this Matt XJ guy might have been GC3 last season or low SSL. Most likely, probably low SSL. Or I'm pr I don't even know how it works. I think all of SSL goes to 1540. I'm not really sure how, how it all goes, but maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. I don't know how that all that all works. So at game number two, we got Slusher. He's season nine grand champion. So I guess, okay, so that actually answers my question from the, from the last uh, game. I'm pretty sure this is like GC3 players um, who just barely made didn't make SSL or just barely uh, didn't have enough points to get there. Got Undead Ghost on the ball here. So he's dropped the ball now. I can go for a 50. But once he drops the ball, there's no threat of him going for the touch. This guy's making a touch, but once again, it spills out to a spot where there's no real threat. My teammate's up really, really early. It's a decent touch, but because of the, because of the way that they, uh, the opponents are set up and I'm like still recovering, I can't really follow that up without overcommitting myself. So my teammate going up early like that is never going to be... Um, never going to really work out if I don't want to risk like a, a play. I'm just going to stay close to this ball here. Dump it around him, and they might have owned gold. My teammate should be able to finish that. There we go. 
So the way that I catch that, I double jump it off the wall because this guy challenging right here, like if I pop it off the wall, he might not be able to read it, which he didn't. And then it just goes over the head of the other player. And honestly, if that ball went across the net, there was no threat. If he just knows where the opponent is, like Slusher, my teammate in this case, um, if he just knows where that guy is, um, this should be open. Um, I, he doesn't need to actually touch that ball and it'll just feed across the net. And, you know, sometimes like a ball that seems threatening isn't because of the placement of the players. Obviously, as the team, uh, the teams get faster, players get faster, it's every ball is more and more threatening just because you can move around so fast in the field. The 50 in the corner. And then this guy's going to feed it up the wall. And you can see that I just go up the wall where he's going to hit it into me. And it immediately puts it in a really awkward position. This guy's making a great touch and great finish. Yeah, so what happened there was like, I, I all I have to do is read where the opponent's going to hit it to me. They have to make a touch to me if they want to hit it. Or they, if they want to reposition and go around the ball, I have time to go on the ball that at that point. But... I'll have to just sit there. The 50-50 makes it super awkward for them, and then they make some awkward clears. My team also gets a really good touch over uh, over the opponents on the back back end. I should not take that mid-boost. So my teammate needs boost here. But they end up messing up. So for a 50, see if Slusher can get there. So what Un Undead Ghost could have done is went around the ball to try and make it more threatening towards the goal. But you see one player is over. They make a shot way over this guy's going for a bump of me i would say it's really dangerous to go for a play where your teammate uh, is going for the ball they are in calm so maybe he said go bump but in the situation where the guy doesn't have full control yet and he's not like dribbling towards me i wouldn't full commit to a, a demo he's kind of flipping at me with no well he's going with the intention of demoing me or something but this guy's in the corner by the way so i have to jump up for this as you can see that's why i should have jumped a little bit earlier um because they pass it across like that this touch is always really dangerous if you don't go immediately for this one. But he cut across really well. I definitely could have just jumped up a little bit a little bit faster. Okay. So I definitely could have beat I definitely could have could have saved that. I'm a little annoyed with the with the quick chats today, man. People are uh I think salty at the start of this this season. That's okay though. Close one. To pass the cross, this guy's going to cut it off. It's totally fine. And I can wait for this bounce in mid. And I can stay with this. So even though he goes for a challenge, it shouldn't be a problem. Never mind, it's in. It's all good, though. My teammate was uh, a little bit further in the back corner. Don't make me act up. All right, I'm acting up. Well, we got the save. Nice, nice try. Man, this guy's, like, completely toxic. What is going on? Go for like a simple flick and he's like really upset. Pass to my teammate. Oh, he didn't want to pass it back. That's totally fine. Okay, I don't understand this game. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. So he's going to try and pass this middle. That's totally fine. A little dangerous for my teammate there to make a touch. It was already feeding to us pretty nicely. A lot of the time, like when the ball is in a spot where like... Uh, in a spot where you do not need to um, go for a touch, like off of their their pressure, they are already sending the ball away from them. They let go of possession. Oh, team is playing pretty well though. He's got it said new con. I'm pretty sure it's new controller. My teammate's acting up, man. I'm not even the one acting up. He's he's kind of he's carrying a little bit. We're actually pretty similar points, but either way, keep my teammate's ball here. So I like the attempt on the, the catch there. It's going to be cut off because uh, he tried to cut it a little bit too sharply. This guy's touching the ball for no reason. I'm going to make him go for this. Oh, that was close to the pass. If my teammate was there. Like It would have been perfect. I can maybe redirect this. Oh, close. Um, but yeah, basically this game has been a lot of just... They're being over-aggressive. Not really, uh, they made that one really good passing play, which is a really good position to go for. Like, but there you go. See, Undead Ghost went for a, a really aggressive touch. And now because of that, he's very low boost. He can't go for this. Okay, he did go for it. <laughs> I'm surprised he went for that. I really thought he would have waited because he's very low. Oh. Oh. What is going on? This guy's going to turn on it. No problem. I can just catch this. This guy's going for a demo on me or something, but I can just pop it around. No problem. Okay, and I'm waiting forward. He's got a touch. It's 
totally fine as well. See what he does with this touch. This, it's not really threatening. Threw it away. Nice try. This guy might go up for it. I could jump for this. I'm just going to wait. Well, what a game. I'm not sure why they were being so toxic about the uh, about the game. He even said, what a game, and then they left immediately. Weird, weird, weird match. I'm fully flourished. What a beautiful title. The start of the season is always hard to read what the opponents are going to do because you don't know what their original rank is. It definitely helps with their titles if they have like Grand Champion or SSL titles uh, at these kind of ranks, but uh, either way. It's been a weird set of games so far. A really good beat there from Fresco, but it should be space for my teammate. Good boost grab as well. This, this is going to be Magoo going for a shot here. It's really high, so he's probably going to try and go again, but it won't be super threatening as long as I wait at the back end. And I kind of hit that too far away from my teammate. Okay, should be my teammate. Now, I don't need to get this boost if I don't... I already have a lot, but my teammate got the, the mid, I believe. Good try on the bump. This guy went for a bump on me, but the opponent almost uh, was alone there for my teammate to completely take over. He pinched it away from himself, so I'm just going to pop that around him. And wait for Magoo here. He went for a bump on me again. Oh. This might just be open. Yeah, so once I get once I get an eye on the, the player to the left there, all I need to do is just make sure I get a direct shot towards target. Because they were fully committed. Um, and I think Fresco was trying to read his teammate, or my teammate. Oh no. <laughs> I've been recognized again. Uh, but once I once I see that um, they, they were overcommitted, even though my teammate was trying to go for a touch, this could be in our net here. Okay, hit it a little bit wide. I can't quite get back to it. If I flip it all at any point there, I'm out of position. So unfortunately, um, I could have maybe got like a boost pad or two, but my teammate missed that touch there and a little bit awkward off the back post. It's fine if Magoo makes the touch here. I'll be able to follow. I'm going to grab bo both boosts here. So now they're not able to get any boost on this side. Pop it around him by waiting until he gets close. That's okay. So, this, okay, right there, that tells me that they're a bit very aggressive on challenges. And so if, if they're going to do that again, I know how to flick it over them next time. The decal that my teammate's using is very, very uh, disorienting. I, I've, I've always said I don't really like that one because it's the screen space decal. And screen space is basically just... It's based on the position of the screen, not the actual, uh, like the actual 3D model. But super weird. Might be a good shot here. Good save from Magoo. So this guy's pushing up. I can push off the wall here. It's around one. And then pop it to the far left. It might not be in, but it's a good chance for my teammate to try on the shot. Now what I'm going to do is hit that around the opponent once again. I've talked about that before, where they're going to be getting a fast recovery to try and get to that touch again. And this guy touching this ball is actually really bad because it's going right to me again. I almost try did the exact same thing there where I go around uh, the opponent, but they end up reading it a little bit wider this time. Ooh, I thought he was leaving it for that for me. Hit that too hard. Hit that really hard off the, the sidewall. That way I can stay close to it. I have 30 boosts. I don't need to go back for the back corner. I'm going to sit in mid just to see what happens. Okay, this is a good shot opportunity, and there we go. They end up spilling it out into mid for me so I can go for that shot. And I don't know if... I, I, there, there's this decal. I, it's such a weird decal. Like if his car isn't moving, it doesn't move, but it looks like it's animating. I don't know how to answer that question. I'm just not, I, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to respond. Oh, I missed the boost. That's all good though. See my teammate can go for a flip reset. Ooh. So they both go. They're panicking a little bit, but still made a decent touch. I hit this into the curve. That way it doesn't spill back into mid. So they do get a beat here. But they have to let go of the ball because they're low boost. Let's see what Fresco does off the backboard. It's coming back to me. So uh, Magoo, once again, that early aggressive challenge happens. I got this boost so they were pretty low. This guy missed this too. So Magoo should probably be pretty low after this. Should be a shot opportunity for my teammate. And there we go. Really well played. So Fresco says my bad. But honestly, Magoo could have made a better touch there too. There wasn't a big threat on the ball yet. And he could have cleared that, cleared that to the back corner. So it's kind of a mistake on both ends. And Magoo could have definitely uh, made a better touch there. It's one of those situations where both both players are kind of to, uh, to a fault. Wait for this touch here. I don't need to go on any of this because, once again, it's not really that threatening. Got the mid boost or corner boost. Now, the way that I touch this is going to spill back into mid here. 
So I see this one guy's going to push up really, really aggressively. So I'm going to do the early flick this time. And see if my teammate can go up for this. I pass the middle. It's not great. I'll go back with it. And this guy's going to beat me to this ball. So I'm just going to go back. It's a flip reset, I think. Oh, that was close. Once again, pop us off the wall. Watching for where Fresh goes. He's already up. I can spin around here again. And our teammate should still be able to go on that, maybe. Good patience. Good try on that touch, too. There we go. This guy's up, but I just need to wait for it. Go for a touch off the backboard. And this guy might own goal. And there we go. We got an open shot. But overall, pretty good game there. My teammate played really well. Um, a couple positions where we were kind of like caught in a two-person, you know, double commit. But... Ooh. Just throwing in a bit, bit of confusion. GG man, I appreciate you uh, recognizing me. You know, I'm glad that people are 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 you know that are up in the higher ranks are watching this too. Like, they're finding value in it. I'm trying to make sure it's good for every rank. But also, quick mention of this map. This is a much better version of uh, Dead Eye Canyon. Can we can we all agree on that? I think this is a very beautiful rendition of this map. Well done. All right, and for the final game, did we ran? Is this Yen? Is this the proper Yen? We'll see. This might be Yan. I th I think it is. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Pop this up. No, it's not Yan. The way he's jumping for that. Pretending to be Yan. That's crazy, man. Of all players to pretend to be. To pretend to be one of the most mechanical players in the game. <laughs> uh, we'll see what he says. <laughs> he says things. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why he would pretend to be uh, Yan of all players. I mean, like I said, hard player to imitate since he's so good. This guy clears it. He is 1540 though, and that is the default MMR. I was playing on my my main the other uh, like a couple hours ago, and um, I was at 1540 when I started. So I think this guy just definitely played his first game, which means he might be like SSL level, but we'll see. But he's like he's all over the place. I'm kind of playing slow here. I'm not really sure what to think of um, this guy impersonating again, but it's a great shot. Good save. By my teammate. What is going on with these guys? I'll do it again. Off the ceiling. Woo! My teammate. Oh! <laughs> oh no! So they're giving me really good opportunities for setups off the off the side. I'm I'm trying not to make them like super super like mechanic. Oh my god! He like totally bumped me. Obviously, I didn't make a great touch there, but I could have kept that a lot closer. Just hitting it towards the net. They both got back pretty fast, but. What? What's happening? What is he saying? First game in years, maybe he's saying? I'm going to the left here. First game in years. This guy might bump me or something. I'm just going to wait for this. This is a bit super awkward game. I don't know what to think of this. <laughs> so Yen's in the corner. Fake Yen. Uh, your first game in years? Yeah, fifteen forty. I don't know what's going on. I think he's trying to pre like pretend he's just started playing. It's a, definitely a weird, weird thing to impersonate a pro, uh, especially when you don't look like them. But hey, to each their own, I guess. I don't know what you guys think of that impersonations, but verifications are still not a thing in Rocket League for individuals. I don't feel like this game was very educational. I wasn't really discussing like what I was doing at all. I also was not playing fast, like fast, like as fast as I was playing in different uh, in the previous ranks. But you know, it is what it is. What a weird set of games. <laughs> I, 
this always happens like it's very awkward at the very start of the season but it's it feels it feels off so if you if you're a player who doesn't like the start of the season i'm right there with you definitely is a weird vibe with all the ranks being mixed in together it's sort of like a squish in all the ranks squish in together a little bit but either way it is what it is hope you guys enjoyed sorry about the sort of lackluster gameplay on that one but until next time have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one